Hello you guys, Jane and Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, I am just so excited. It is my favorite time of the year. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. It's freaking bats. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. You guys should know by now, I love spooky season. Halloween is my favorite time of the entire year. And I say time because to me, Halloween is not just one day. It is literally the entire month of October, okay? October is devoted to being spooked. I love horror movies. They're my favorite genre. I love the decor. I love carving pumpkins. I love trick-or-treating. I love coming up with a different costume, getting dressed, taking the photos, doing the makeup. I want to see fun, creative-ass looks, which brings me to today's YouTube video. We started a series many years ago on this channel where I recreate your guys' makeup looks and I love doing it. But the past couple of years, we've done a Halloween edition where I recreate your best Halloween makeup looks that you guys have tagged me in. Now this year is extra special because we obviously used to use my James Charles X Morphe palette all the time in these looks, but now my makeup line Painted has launched and we have some brand new products that we can use to create all sorts of crazy Halloween makeup looks. Of course, I'll use some other brands throughout today's video, but I am gonna try to focus a lot on the different Create paints since I know a lot of you guys have them in your collection and are dying to do some really cool Halloween looks. So if you want to shop, everything is available at painted.co. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I am so excited to get glam today. Who else is excited for Halloween season? If you are, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot. And if you have not already, come click that subscribe button. I have three makeup looks from super talented artists selected for you guys today. So let's just get right into look number one. And that is going to be Tate Landon from American Horror Story. Ah! The makeup look that I'm gonna be recreating today was inspired by Charlie Herndon and also Delaney. And they both used ink and ghosted create paints. Let's get into it. So we're gonna first start off by just doing probably one little pump of our foundation onto our painted mixing palette. That was a lot more than one pump, honestly. Two shots of vodka. And then with my Create Paint and Ghosted, very appropriate for this makeup look, by the way, with American Horror Story Murder House. I'm gonna do a good squirt of this white paint onto the palette. And then we're just gonna mix it together with a crappy little foundation brush because we're looking for a super pale color here. And then we're just gonna go right in on the face. And I'm just gonna messily blend this around my face. The good thing about this is that it really doesn't need to be perfect. I really wanted this to be a lot more skin tone than it actually is. I forgot how pigmented my paint is. Not exactly what I wanted. Once we have that all blended on there, I'm just gonna take any translucent powder. This one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to set this in place. Now that we have the base all set in place, it is time to do the skeleton makeup. Now, this is actually pretty simple, but there is a lot of detail work. So I'm gonna have you guys follow along as I go using, of course, my Create Paint in the shade Ink. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out once again onto my Painted Mixing Palette. And then I'm gonna start drawing in all the details using my Painted J5 brush. So in the show, Evan Peters' character, Tate, actually has his eyebrows out. We're gonna do basically a line right below Below the eyebrow and it's gonna be a rounded line just like that easy peasy and now we're gonna do a small line curling around the brow here and now from this inner corner we're gonna go up here down to the eye we're gonna create a little hump here now from this outer corner we're gonna go back up again and this area that we just created here is basically the brow bone there you go that's all you have to do then we're gonna do a little connecting of this with our brush so that's kind of the general shape that you wanna create. We did both eyes, we're gonna fill that in later, obviously, but I'm gonna do the nose. So we're just gonna do, it's gonna be like an upside down heart shape. So we're gonna follow the nostril, just like this, and then creating this little upside down triangle shape here, just like that. And then we're gonna draw a line up like this, connecting it down to the nostril. Once again, we'll fill this in later, but I am gonna just create that like rough kind of guide because we do wanna leave that white space in the middle. And now we'll draw out the mouth lines so we can start working on the teeth. We'll start drawing in some teeth, which will just be vertical lines. Once you have the lines across your entire lips, these are gonna be the longer teeth. Then you're just gonna start drawing in your, I almost said dentures, your molars. <laughs> your molars, which are like the short, more rounded teeth on the outside. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom now. I know this is repetitive and boring, but we have to get all the teeth in. Now I'm gonna create the cheekbone. All I know is that there's a, a giant black thing here. I think it's like your mouth bone. 
Now that all the basic outlines are done, now we can start filling things in and this is what it'll actually start to come together. Just for reference, this is kind of what I have so far. Obviously it's not perfect as well. There are several points where I have double kind of lines, just trying to make sure that everything is symmetrical. To fill this in, I'm gonna grab my J1 brush. This is our large painted concealer brush and I'm just gonna start dipping right into that ink and we're gonna start going a little crazy. I'm just gonna take this and literally black in my entire eyeball and look at how full coverage this is going on, you guys. It's literally one coat. I'm gonna make sure the paint is also in my water lines, both upper and lower, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing, filling in the nose as well. And while we're doing this, let's talk a little bit about American Horror Story. If you guys are fans, I would love to know from you, maybe we can leave it in the comments, what is your ranking of the seasons? I will say, Miss Kim K in this new season, really eating it up. I watched, I think, two of the episodes and I've been seeing a couple of the clips on TikTok. I think she's doing a great job, but I don't know if this is my favorite season. Honestly, for me, nothing will ever top Murder House. I think season one, of course, was Tate Langdon, is just like, it really is unbeatable. It's such a fucking good season. Coven is also phenomenal as well. It used to be one of my all-time favorite shows that I feel like as the years have progressed, I haven't been as big of a fan, but let me know from you guys what your ranking is if you are a massive fan or if you're just a Tate Langdon stan like I am. Now we're gonna do the same thing, filling in the cheekbones over here, just like this. Now before this dries down, I'm just gonna take a random little fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this to buff out the edges of that ink to help create some of the shadows here. Now we have the basis of everything pretty much filled in. So now it's just adding a lot of little cracks, crevices, and shading, which is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna use, once again, my J5 brush, a little bit of that leftover ink that I have, and I'm also gonna grab a black eyeshadow. Once again, we can make these kind of messy because these are just supposed to be little cracks and crevices. He has a little crack over here. And with a light fluffy brush, I'm just gonna use some of this black to start either deepening up these shadows or just adding, this would be like against all makeup rules, but adding like messiness. Now we just really have to do the teeth shading. And honestly, this is the worst part. Whenever you're doing skeleton makeup, this is where it gets really complicated. Not really complicated. It's just, it's like repetitive and it's kind of like, you just have to be careful because you don't want it to look crazy. But basically all I'm gonna do is just take a little smudger brush just like this. And I'm basically gonna start creating like Y shapes in between each tooth. And last, but very not least, I'm gonna grab a little bit of mascara and you're just gonna go in and you're gonna coat all of your little lashes. That way they're not white or messing up the illusion. And finally, that is our Tate Landon skeleton makeup inspired by Charlie Hernan and Delaney, all complete. This look was actually pretty easy to do. It only took about 45 minutes. I only used two products, Ink and Ghosted, but the impact, the final look is really, really great. I definitely think if you guys have a Halloween party to go to or just wanna do a cute little Instagram photo, this could be a super easy look for you guys to do. Just follow the steps and tag me when you recreate it. All that hard work later, let's go ahead and wipe this all off and move on to look number two. All right you guys, we are back for makeup look number two. As you can see, I look a little bit different. The face is clean, I'm in my little robe, and my eyebrows are fully glued down. This is actually a recreation of one of my favorite makeup artists right now to follow, Callum Edwards. He is so talented, based out of the UK. He did this really beautiful but spooky rainbow clown look. I just think it is so cool. I sent him my paints and PR, and he has done so many iconic looks. I am literally obsessed, so I figured we would give him a little bit of a shout out and try our best to recreate his masterpiece on my my face. Say a prayer. First step of this routine, we just did a skeleton look. I'm gonna have to paint my entire face white again. I'm just gonna grab any flat foundation brush and dip into my ghosted paint, and we're gonna start going crazy here. Similar to our skeleton makeup, I'm just gonna take some translucent powder, this one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and set this all in place. Just to make sure that the white paint is super locked in and bright. Now that we have our white all laid out, I'm gonna grab some Ink Create paint, and this is gonna start acting as our contour and our eyebrows. Now, I'm really scared. I'm gonna use my J4 brush, our little angle, and grab a little bit of my ink, and I'm gonna sketch these on. All right, I finally got the brows to be even. That took me way longer than I wanted it to, and I honestly don't like the shape. I feel like I don't know how, they got so arched. We're just gonna keep going. Okay, so next, Callum took a little bit more of that ink, and I'm gonna mix together some of the white as well, and we're gonna make a contour color. Now I'm just gonna grab this like, honestly like shitty paintbrush that I have lying around, and I'm gonna mix these two colors together, and that's just gonna help create this like gray color. And then we're kind of just gonna like draw some nice skid marks on the side of my face. And it's okay, this is messy because that's kind of the whole vibe and point. And for once, I'm gonna skip out on nose contouring because we're actually gonna do that with color later on. So for right now, that's looking pretty good. Now let's do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my left on red paint and we're just gonna do two dots right on the cheekbones. 
just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. And once again, we're gonna add quite a lot of shadows, but this is just gonna act as our base. Now that we have this all set in place, we're looking really beautiful so far, obviously. Using flaming, I'm going to grab a fluffy brush, and I'm basically just gonna tap into this and start using this as an eyeshadow base to sculpt out the shape of the eye that we're gonna do. Just gonna grab another fluffy brush and using whatever is left of that left on red, I'm gonna blend this in the outer corners. We're gonna do a lot of shadow, but this is just gonna help make sure that it's very pigmented. So we're gonna put this red right here. Now it's blending time. You're gonna grab any rainbow palette that you want. I'm just gonna use the good old trusty Dusty. God, I can't wait to have a rainbow palette with painted one day where I can replace this. All right, let's go and start blending shit together. We're gonna grab first and foremost, a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab a little bit of B the bright yellow. And we're gonna use this to start blending out the edges of these contours. And you can really go crazy here because you want this to be very, very pigmented. I'm also gonna blend this above as well. So this is where using that flaming as a base really comes in handy. When you're blending on the nose area, you can kind of go crazy. But when I'm starting to blend on the eyes, especially over top of that brow cover, I'm gonna be very, very, very careful to not disrupt the glue underneath. There's nothing worse than having a really gorgeous flat brow cover. Then you just blend a little too hard and all of a sudden there's little hair spiking out of it. it really takes you out of the illusion. Look at this, this is kind of giving. Okay, I'm just kind of jumping around here. I'm gonna take a little bit of pink and I'm gonna blend it around the edges of my nice blush there. Just softening it, creating like this little blurred, little blushy effect. We're getting close. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit more of my ghosted paint and I'm gonna use this to cut the crease because I want this to be a super, super sharp crease shape. Just like that kind of shape. And now before that sets in place, I'm just going to use a glittery pink shadow to blend together the red and the white. And then I'm just gonna set that inner corner in using a white shadow. All right, you guys, we are back with the eyes all complete. Added on a liner, a lash, lower lash line, and a little bit of white in the inner corner. And we are finally ready to move on with the rest of this look. I'm honestly really liking how this is turning out so far. It's a little bit different than Callum's. He had like some different shapes of the lashes going on. I feel like his is a little bit smokier, but you guys will have to let me know if you think I did it justice. Let's add the star. This is really cute. I've never done this before. Okay, let's say a prayer. I'm gonna pull my mirror in really closely. I need to kind of get down there, you guys. Bitch, that, that looks like a sticker. Hello? I impressed myself with that one. Definitely happy with that. Okay, let's move on to the lips. We're so close. Very last step of this makeup routine. Let's set this shit in place. Cause honestly, I love how this turned out. All right, and that is this rainbow killer clown look recreated from Klee Makeup All Complete. You guys, ah, I am so mad that we are currently filming this on Thursday, October 12th, weeks away from Halloween still. Obviously, I have to film my YouTube videos in advance to get them edited and uploaded for you guys, but oh my God, if this were closer to Halloween, I would so wear this to a party. In fact, if you see me wearing this again next week for actual Halloween, I don't wanna hear anything. Literally so good. Thank you so much to Callum for inspiring this amazing, amazing look. And now it's time to wipe it all up and move on to look number three. Oh, say a prayer. All right, you guys, we are back. Faces all cleaned, ready to go for our last and final look of today's video. Now, just like the other makeup looks that we've done so far, this one was also inspired by an incredible talented artist that tagged me, and his name is Shane FX. And he did this super cool school of horrors makeup look. If you guys can see, it's like special effects. He has these colored pencils jammed into his face. I don't really know what else to say. That's, that's exactly what it is. So we're gonna try to do the same thing today using painted products. To be clear, when I say I'm using painted products, I don't mean I'm gonna do this whole look using painted, not possible. Um, I actually mean that I'm going to stab myself using the, the painted products. Instead of the colored pencils, it's gonna be brushes and paints sticking out of my head. I also have my Ben Nye Scar Wax, some spirit gum, some blood, some powder, and we're just gonna, we're gonna try our best and see what we come up with here. So let's get right in. All right, we are back with the glam fully done and ready to go. And now it is time to make ourselves look dead. We're gonna go into some special effects in a couple of seconds, but before then, I'm just gonna use a mixture of a couple of different like neutral tone grays, some purple, some reds, just to give that like deadly effect like Shane had. So he has quite a lot of shadow in this inner corner and some in the outer corner as well, right below the lash. We're gonna put some red underneath. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of yellow because whenever you bruise, it turns yellow. Thank you, science. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna apply some of this like right on like the cheekbone area like this. This is also gonna kind of help us look like a, kind of sickly as well. Oh my God, that's really giving. Okay, I'm nice and bruised. Now it's time to stick some shit into my face. So let's see where, <laughs> what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna use some spirit gum. This is basically special effects glue and I'm going to put this on my face. And now what I'm gonna use is some Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. Now this is real fun because basically this is like Play-Doh for special effects. So you can kind of really shape whatever you want. So all I'm gonna do is grab a little chunk just like this on a little metal mixing palette. 
And I'm gonna warm it up with my fingers, tap out this scar wax because it is activated by that. Then I'm gonna roll it into a little tiny ball, like we're literally playing with Play-Doh. And I'm going to stick it on my face, just like that. Thank you. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start sculpting this onto my face. Now we take a nice painted brush. This is a J4, available now on painted.co. Okay, and all we're gonna, fuck. Come on. I'm not indestructible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, high quality production. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna apply some glue onto the end of this brush. I'm gonna take some liquid latex, and basically what I'm gonna do is just take this and just go. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, now I just take a little triangle sponge, just like this, and I go in, and I'm just gonna dab right around the edges to make sure that there is no barrier between my skin and the liquid or in the scar wax and that it is really locked in especially in this inner corner below my eyelid because that is where it's going to lift since the brush would be pulling it downwards now we let that dry and now we repeat several other times on my face yeah yeah oh there we go <laughs> that stayed better than next <laughs> Slay! Am I done? Am I done? Should I do this? <laughs> All the shit is glued to my face. Is it rolling? Yeah. <laughs> All the shit is glued to my face and now it's time to make it look bloody. So let's do this. I'm gonna take my cray paint and I'm gonna mix together some red and black, just like that. And I'm just gonna use this brush to start putting this right at like some of the bases of these brushes. We're gonna go in with some blood, but this is just gonna start to look like it's like really nice and, you know, irritated. Now I'm gonna grab my Ben Nye stage blood and this is where shit gets crazy. Ew, I hate this top. Why don't I put this top on for this? <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been a couple of hours and we are finally done with this struggling artist makeup look. This was way harder to do than I originally anticipated, but thank you so much to Shane FX for inspiring this makeup look. I honestly really want to go and take a special effects makeup class because once again, I feel like this looks presentable. Like from afar, we did the job, but could have been faster, could have been easier. And if I wore this out on Halloween, half the shit would probably fall off my face. So great for a YouTube video, but honestly, maybe by the time next year comes around, I'll have some updated special effects skills for you guys. On that note, thank you so much for watching today's video of recreating your guys' Halloween makeup look. I love doing this series so much because of course it's fun to play around and make up on my face But more importantly, it's so incredibly amazing and inspiring to see what you guys create on a weekly basis As always, please continue to keep tagging me in your photos reviews stories all sorts of different makeup looks So I can recreate them in the future and of course just double tap and leave some love on your posts If you guys enjoyed today's video speaking of leaving some love Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below and leave me a comment Letting me know which makeup look today was your favorite and any other Halloween suggestions down below because I have a lot of parties and events to attend Ted, so I'm gonna need a lot of different costumes. So I look forward to reading what you guys have to say. And if you want to follow me on my other social media platforms, my Instagram and TikTok are just James Charles, and make sure you follow Painted at Painted.co. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.